previous protest which saw thousands stick to the street across the country ended without significant concessions from the government. Most eastern Nigerian states opted out of the demonstrations, while some of the northern and western Nigerian regions witnessed large turnouts. By estimate, approximately 15% of Nigerians participated in the protest, with a higher concentration of youth ages 18 to 35 and urban residents. However, did the protests achieve their aim? The aim and goals of the protest is partly achieved. It has given, it has given a notice to the government that people are angry. And so the government should not be comfortable with what they are doing. I think that it's not achieved its aim. That's what I think, because they're not taking it very seriously. You are spending anyhow, and you are telling people to, to relax. We are planning for you in the future. So the trust is not there, no matter what he says. So the only thing that can calm or can make people relax more is probably to fight the security, and there's food. Organizers say despite the government's promise to address some of the concerns, Litu has changed, hence the call for an independent day protest dubbed fearless to reiterate demands. The president did respond to our protest by saying no going back on uh, subsidy removal. So it stands to reason that we are a continue no going back on protest. It's as simple as that. What a first protest cannot resolve or cannot bring home the expectations of the people, more protests will do as long as we remain peaceful. This protest will resume from the beginning of October. And it might even resume earlier, depending on situational variables. And when we start in uh, November, we will not stop uh, until these demands are met. With over 30 deaths recorded during the previous hunger strikes, security experts are concerned about the role of security forces during demonstrations. It's unfortunate that uh, the Inspector General of Police did make a statement that um, none of their operatives was given live bullets and that um, they were not responsible for the killings. And from the beginning of the protest till um, date, we have we have documented 30 persons being killed across the country. Uh, oh no, the military did that. And you saw how the Nigerians reacted positively to that. As Nigerians continue to grapple with the same issues that prompted the initial protest, many are left wondering if anything will change. For now, citizens are coping through informal support networks while others have resorted to emigration or voter apathy. In Lagos for New Central, Igbalani Omani.